Skill-based matchmaking is a topic that the COD community seems to be very passionate about, and the simple mention of skill-based matchmaking can get people very emotional and angry about the subject. Some people are very passionate and very adamant that skill-based matchmaking is a heavily implemented system in this game. But there's a major problem with that, is they're really just going off of anecdotal evidence. They're not going off of any statistical thing, they're just going off of what they feel. It feels like the game is super sweaty, and it feels like there's a lot of tryhards in the match, and it just feels like they're not doing as good in this COD as they have in previous CODs, and as such, skill-based matchmaking must be heavily implemented, because I have a 4.0 KD in other CODs, but I'm barely scratching a 1 in this COD. Well, if you were to watch Drifter and Exclusive Ace's video, then you would see that the indications are that skill-based matchmaking, while slightly there, is not the main thing that the game cares about. And connection is always going to be what's prioritized, as it should be. So as such, connection is the priority. It's going to try to put you in a game of people with similar connections. Skill-based matchmaking isn't even that heavily implemented or hinted upon in the statistics that Drifter uh, showed in his video. And if you go to that Excel spreadsheet or whatever the heck it was, then you can see that the data points are suggesting that it's your past five games that are really the major selling point for what this type of skill-based matchmaking is. And even after that, it really more so matters to your connection. So yeah, your, fi your previous five games and how well you did might have a slight impact on the match you get into, but it's not going to be the end-all be-all. That's not all that matters. That's not what the game is specifically looking for. The first thing that your game is looking for when trying to find a match isn't, oh, how well did this do in the past five games? That's what we got to care about first. Nope. It's about connection. The game's going to try to put you to the closest data center, the closest server, whatever you want to call it, to try to get you the best connection and best possible experience for a Call of Duty match. COD is a very fast-paced game. While Modern Warfare may not be as fast-paced as other Call of Duties, it's still a fast-paced game compared to a game like Rainbow Six Siege. And as such, connection is going to really matter, because if you have a bad connection and it didn't prioritize that, then of course you're going to be killed around corners, and there's going to be a lot of bullshit deaths. But saying that this game has heavy skill-based match, matchmaking you're just lying to yourself if you think that that is the sole reason that you're getting stomped uh then you're fucking wrong look i'm not a phenomenal cod player by any means uh but i'd like to say i'm average or above average i have my really good games and i have my really bad games not every day is every day isn't the same for me there's some days i'm popping off and some days i can't do shit and i just i can't play that day so but if I were to have an off day or an off game where I just do super bad and I'm getting crushed, me saying that, ah, oh, that must be a huge indi indicator that skill-based matchmaking is implemented in the game, it's pretty much just telling yourself a lie to try to get yourself to believe it. I mean, fucking Claymores. <laughs> I'm doing this live to kind of showcase how I'm really feeling about skill-based matchmaking. Sure, I'm doing quite average, and there are some players in this lobby that are a similar rank to mine, but I don't feel like everybody's super try-hard, and I don't feel like everybody's the uh, exact same skill level as me. But it also does make sense that some sort of skill-based matchmaking would be implemented into the game. Say you're a super new Call of Duty player, and you're like a level 10 in this game. Well. How much fun would it be if you were put in the lobbies with people who are max level already? People who have been playing the game for hours on end, and as such, have a lot higher of a skill. If that skill gap is super high, it really wouldn't be fun for you to be in a lobby with those players. But someone who has a super high skill rank would definitely love to be in a lobby with players who are super bad. Skill-based matchmaking is going to benefit the people who have a low skill. People who have a high skill aren't really going to see any benefits from it, other than the fact that lobbies are going to get more tryhardy. So I can understand the criticism if skill-based matchmaking was the end-all be-all, the thing that mattered to this game, but it really doesn't. Yeah, there's a little bit of an indicator that some slight skill-based matchmaking is here, but again, that's not what the game is prioritizing. It prioritizes your connection. Look, some people can just admit that they're really not always great at COD. You, you might have been having a 3.0 KD in other CODs. Maybe you're just not great at this one. I mean, while this is Call of Duty at heart, there's definitely a lot of fundamentals and mechanics in this game that are a lot different than some other CODs. It plays very similarly, but also very different to other CODs in the franchise. It's okay to not be good at every single game. It's okay to have off days and not always be popping off. But you just can't sit there and blame everybody but yourself. Sometimes you just gotta admit that you know you're not having a good day. 
It's not necessarily a problem with the game itself. You're just not doing good that day. It happens. There's nothing wrong with that. But stop saying that the game is doing it because of skill-based matchmaking. Because, oh, I'm lagging like this. Ah, oh, it must be skill-based matchmaking. Look, my internet is the best I can have in the area I am in. And even then, it's still not phenomenal internet. It's okay and bearable most days, but there are some times where I have to reset the router a few times just to get my internet to be working properly. There are definitely days where I'm having a lot of problems with my internet and I'm lagging. And as such, if I have multiple people at my house and they're all using the internet, whether they're watching Netflix, YouTube, on their phones doing whatever, I might be lagging. But I'm not going to say that just because so many people are on the internet and now I'm lagging in COD that COD definitely doesn't care about my connection. No, sometimes your internet's just shit. It happens. I mean, obviously, yeah, there's some people with much better internet than me, but, again, anecdotal evidence. I myself do have games where my connection isn't great, but that can also be part of my internet. My internet just isn't great. It's just really annoying when I go onto Reddit or Twitter or anything else about COD, and it's just people complaining about this skill-based matchmaking system that doesn't even truly exist. Yeah, there might be some statistics that are showing a slight implementation of a minor skill-based matchmaking system based on the last five games of your play, but again, that's not a true indicator that skill-based matchmaking is what pri is prioritized. It's always prioritizing your connection, as COD has done for many of years. Look, this is a super fun Call of Duty, and I'm having more fun with this COD than I have with any other COD in the past few years. And yeah, this game has its problems, it has its balance issues, but overall, I'm having a great time playing this game. While it's still caught at its heart, yeah, there's a lot of things that are different, and as such, people's playstyles are going to be slightly different. I'm sure Infinity War will be adding a ranked mode at some point, but as it stands right now, the skill-based matchmaking is kind of negligible at best. It's Call of Duty. People are sweaty, people are going to be super tryhard, and you're going to get into some of those lobbies. Just take responsibility for the fact that maybe you're not great at COD. Maybe you're just not great at this COD. You might have had a 3.0 KD in other CODs, but as people evolve, more players play the game and whatnot, your skills might just decrease, or they might even out to some other players. Just because you were good at COD a few years ago doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be a beast at every single game that launches. I mean, I'm just so sick and tired of people talking about skill-based matchmaking as if it was this giant entity and this is all that prioritizes anything in matchmaking. Skill-based matchmaking would be awful if it was the only thing that mattered to the game. But in such a fast-paced game like Call of Duty, it's not going to be what matters. Look, all I'm trying to say is I'm having a ton of fun with this COD more than I have in a quite a long time. And I just don't want people to be thinking that this Call of Duty is bad because of some minor skill-based matchmaking. Yes, it does exist. Very minimally, though. Your connection is what matters. I guess I just got sick of seeing people talk about skill-based matchmaking like it was this giant entity and was all that matters, so I had to make my own video complaining about the people complaining in some sort of meta way. Either way, let me know what you think about Modern Warfare in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Cheerio, mates!